first of all, whether people like it or not, whether they want to talk about his boxing ability, he's technically the biggest star in boxing. 100%. Right? He has the biggest draw. He has the biggest name. Um, whenever he comes out, he raises the profile of all the people that he's going to fight. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. think that, um, look, you're never going to be successful until you have people that just for whatever reason don't like you or don't want to see you succeed. And I think right. he's handled that pretty good for the most part. He's been very calm in some of these interviews. You know, as he learns a little bit more English and feels more comfortable speaking, we get some funny anecdotes from him. You know, everything has become a, like a little meme now. Payday. Payday. Day. Well, pay pay day. Day. <laughs> but that's what people are here for, motherfucker. Right. Like, what, what do you think? Niggas ain't boxing for free. Motherfuckers <laughs> don't want to box for free. It's a payday. Of course we want a payday, bro. What's wrong with y'all? But here's the thing. I think that Canelo probably really took that lesson from the Mayweather loss to heart. And I think that, if I could be honest, changed his career. I saw him box so differently after that. He was a much more technical fighter. He's probably looked at that video a hundred fucking times. And for him to say, I've never looked at it, you're lying. No one who has that much dedication of perfection wouldn't be able to see those losses. And and learn something from him. Now he's had other close calls. The the triple the first, first triple, triple G fight. fight. Oh my, yo, dude, you, you if you go to any place where they have clips of that fight, and look at the comments, they call come after him. There's a there's a couple of other people that gave him a run for his money, um, but I think that he's got a pretty good roster coming up now. I think the one person that obviously everyone says, but that I I I know I don't. I'm cool with him, but I'm not like best friends, but I'm, I'm cool with the brother. I spoke to him. He's a good dude. Um, David Benavidez, mm -hmm. I think, gives him a lot of problems, but also gives a lot of people a lot of problems at 168. I think in what he's doing now, which is going after all the mandatories, right? David Lemieux, the next fight after that, if he can't get the Charlo fight, will be another mandatory. But yeah, he's making it impossible for Canelo not to fight him. I told